Welcome to the first part of our series about the WP Online Contract version 3.0 and higher. Uh, we've had a few requests to uh, upgrade our video or update our video to the upgraded version, so this is that. But I figured it would be easier to split it up into sections, um, and you can view the other sections at the bottom uh, in the description of this window or this video. Um, and you can choose which section that would be more interesting to you instead of listening to a 30 minute long video. So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about the installation. So whenever you're on Code Canyon and you purchase our plugin, they're gonna give you a download link. In that download link, you're going to have a zip folder. Within that zip folder contains the plugin file, which is also a zip, as well as the documentation folder. Inside of the documentation folder, it will basically just redirect you to our online contract documentation on the demo website. So what you need to worry about is the plugin itself. Do not just upload what you've downloaded from Code Canyon because it does not contain just the plugin file. It also contains the documentation. So once you unzip, you'll see the zip file for the plugin itself. You can upload it through WordPress's interface or through FTP by itself. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is whenever you get it all installed and you want to, uh, you know, whenever you log into it, you'll see a variety of options here. Um, I'll just go ahead and minimize the stuff that's of no importance to this video. And you'll see and in your dashboard, you now have an online contract summary. And in the, at, the at a glance window, you see that you have uh, where your contracts are as well as a your contracts window. This window will be used for your clients that have the ability to log in to the back end of your website. Anything that's tied into their email address associated with their account will appear here. It'll have links to it so they can view the contracts that they've already signed or sign contracts that they have not signed. Uh, for the administrators, you will see this section so you can see all the contracts that was created regardless of the user, as well as in, at the at a glance window, you'll see that you have you know, two online contracts. So you can click here and actually open up the contract window. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is settings within your contracts. Uh, so that's a sub navigation link on inside of the administrator where you would add your settings information. So first, um, we used to offer uh, the plugin directly downloaded from our website, we no longer do, so this is gonna be your default option is Code Canyon. Your purchase code can be found in Code Canyon inside of your downloads folder. They usually give you a variety of links that you can download. The one that you need to be looking for is the documentation included, so that way whenever you download it, it'll also give you the, the, the key code that you need. Um, next would be your company name. Administrative email, which is the email address that gets all the notifications. So whenever someone signs a contract or initiates a contract, you will receive this uh, an email at this location. Next is your currency symbol, currency type, pretty self-explanatory. The date format, another one's pretty self-explanatory, but if you don't understand date formats, um, the way PHP uses them, you can actually click on this link here and it'll bring you out to a PHP page to kind of give you a list of all the date formats. Um, the next one would be your short code for client email. Whenever you first install it, this will not have any options because you haven't set up your short codes yet. Uh, we'll show you that in the next video that we do. Um, so for now, don't worry about this. You can come back and modify it later, but it's basically whenever um, it's a, you know, you, you, this is the short codes that's used for the client's email address. It'll be used to allow the client to view the contracts using that email address. So basically, you tell the plugin that this is the email address that you want to use that's displayed on the dashboard, displayed on your email list, page location, you know, stuff like that. So next option is email list page location. This is, it provides you a list of contracts. So whether you're using an email address like it is down here, or the, the client is actually logged into your website, whenever they go to the website, uh, whatever page that you assign there, they'll see a list of contracts that's associated with their email address. Currently in the demo, we do not have any email addresses that are associated with any of our users, so it says that you do not have any contracts. Uh, same thing that you saw on the dashboard. 
Um, if you want to see other items that's produced by Future Design Group, you can click here. It'll bring you to the Code Canyons uh, website, and you can see all of the add-ons that we have. So you have your Authorize.net, Walla, Skrill, Stripe, PayPal, all of those uh, are available for you to purchase. Um, so this concludes this video. Uh, the next video that we uh, add will be going over how to set up your short codes properly and how they are used. Um, thank you for your time, and I uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video.